What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Nike Air Max 90 NRG in the Venn Diagram colorway. This pair recently dropped on Nike Canada's website for a price of 190 Canadian dollars or 150 USD. And the official colorway for this shoe is Summit White, Grey Fog and Black. So first off, here's a quick look at the box and unlike your normal Nike Sportswear Air Max 90s, this one because it's an NRG release comes in the special black box. On the top corner, we have Nike Air done in this shiny finish, and then the bottom of the box is done in this striped fashion, and we have this text in white on the bottom. As for the shoes, so these Air Max 90s are constructed in that recraft style, which is basically a retooled Air Max 90 that Nike introduced in December of 2019, and it's supposed to be a lot closer to the OG shape of the Air Max 90, especially when you compare it to Air Max 90s from the past. So diving straight into the details, on the toe box, the base layer of the shoe is constructed out of a white colored canvas. Printed on the canvas itself, we have this polka dot pattern in various shades of grey. And right above this on the U-throw area of the shoe, this is covered in this black coloured suede. Wrapping around the edges of the toe box, we have this grey coloured nubuck, and this nubuck covers the quarter panel of the shoe as well. Right above this, the eye stays are constructed out of a semi-translucent grey coloured TPU, and overlaid on top of the quarter panel, we have a white tumbled leather swoosh. Running across the bottom of the shoe, we have this mud guard, which is constructed out of a grey coloured canvas, and again has this polka dot pattern found throughout. And towards the back heel, we have this cutout which reveals this TPU Air Max branding. Surrounding the top portion of the ankle collar area, we have more of that white canvas with that polka dot pattern to it. And stitched on the centre of the back heel, we have this semi-translucent grey coloured rubber with Nike Air branding on it. Attached to the laces, we have this translucent Dubre or lace tag, which has this black Nike swoosh on it. And intertwining through this, the laces are done in this flat style in white. Underneath the laces, we have a new buck tongue. And at the very top, we have this Venn diagram graphic in various shades of grey and black, along with Nike Air embroidered in the center in white. As I remove the insoles, so you can see these come with your standard Air Max 90 insole, it's foam padded, and the top of the insole is lined in this black fabric, and we have Nike Air branding on the heel. So the upper of these Air Max 90s sits atop this polyurethane foam midsole, which is painted in white, except for the heel wedge, which is painted in black. Underneath the heel, we have this cutaway, which exposes the air sole unit that's found within the midsole for cushioning. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your outsole, which is constructed out of a combination of this translucent gum rubber and black rubber finish. So for sizing, so I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and for the Air Max 90 Recraft series, I stick true to size for a size 10. So that's what I got for this shoe, and I found that for some reason, they ran a little bit more narrow than some of the other Recraft Air Max 90s that I've been buying. I don't know if it's just inconsistency in the manufacturing process, or maybe because the material is a bit thicker with this canvas on the upper, but I could feel the sides of the shoe pressing into the sides of my feet, which was a little bit uncomfortable. So I feel like if you have really wide feet and you want to wear these, you might want to consider going up a half size, but if you have narrow or normal width feet, then true to size should be okay. Next up in terms of comfort, so the Air Max 90 Recraft series, for some reason, I don't know what Nike did specifically, but they feel very great on feet. The foam that they use on the midsole is very soft and cushioned, and it definitely feels a lot more responsive, especially when you compare it to Air Max 90s from say 5-10 years ago. So personally for me, nowadays I feel like the Air Max 90s that Nike is bringing out, they're definitely a shoe I can wear for many hours in the day without feeling any discomfort, and it's one of the top shoes I would choose to wear if I'm going on vacation. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, Overall, this pair was pretty solid. The material quality was really nice. I thought the new bucks, the leather that they used, it definitely had a bit more of a premium feel to it. And the overall build on the upper was perfectly fine. However, I had some issues with the paint job on the midsole. It was a little bit sloppy, but in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't that noticeable, so it really wasn't that big of a deal. With all that being said now, let's lace up these Venn Diagram Air Max 90s and I'll show you guys how these look on feet.
what I've seen so far from various retailers, this shoe is sitting online. So I definitely wouldn't be surprised if these eventually went on sale or even hit your local outlet. For what it is, I think it's not bad of a design. I kind of like the whole grayscale look to it, but I wasn't huge on the polka dot finish. Anyways, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Venn Diagram Air Max 90. For those watching, are you guys feeling the design and the color of this shoe, or is this gonna be a pass for you? If you guys like this review, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seango.ca. And if you haven't heard, I recently surpassed 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, so because of that, I'm giving away six pairs of shoes to my viewers. So a couple videos back, I posted the 100K celebration video. So to enter my giveaway, just comment on that video. And you can also enter a second entry as well through my Instagram post as well. So best of luck for everyone watching. Thank you for the continued love and support. And until next time, I'll catch you guys all in my next review.